Hello and welcome to New Start at Home. I'm your host, Don McIntosh. We're glad you're with us. And we're also glad that we have Dr. Doug Plata with us today. Welcome, doctor. Appreciate it. Uh, you are a specialist in family practice, but also preventive medicine. That's right. And as we were talking, you said one of the most important things for people to do is to have a consistent exercise program. Why is that? How can we get it started? How can we make it stick? Well, there's so many benefits uh, to, to exercise. I mean, it's one of the most powerful medicines uh, that we have. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's important for heart health and so many different things, even depression. Mm -hmm. um, so, and the other question was how, how do- How do we get it started? How do we make it stick? You know, I, I think uh, most people, it's common sense that uh, we all need to be exercised on a regular basis, especially aerobic exercise. You're walking, running, cycling, these sorts of things. Uh, in terms of how to make it, you know, well, how to get started, um, what I would recommend is that people try to find something that they think they're going to that they're going to stick with. And for me, that is something that is enjoyable. There's nothing like, oh, I have to get up and I have to walk or jog or something like this. And if you don't like doing that, it's going to be very difficult to to really keep doing that, you know, month after month, year after year, like like in fact we need to do. Mm -hmm. So. What I recommend is try to make it uh, in some way enjoyable so that it's something you'll be looking forward to. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you do personally? What do you look forward to in terms of exercise? Well, the, I, I found it. For me, I found it. And that is, uh, for me, it's cycling. Mm -hmm. uh, now, being preventive medicine, I, I actually looked in the literature and say, how safe is this? And unfortunately, cycling is not the, one of the safest things, but it was one, for me, it's one of the most enjoyable things. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I did buy a bicycle and I got a route uh, uh, on the street uh, that was uh, safe, you know, very mm -hmm. little traffic, and I just, when I cycle, I'm, I'm very cautious about it, because I'm out there uh, to, to, to get exercise and for my health, mm -hmm. and obviously an injury is not at all helpful. Right, so uh, walking? Walking is one of the, one of the best, uh, if this is something that you enjoy doing, walking is, uh, it's relatively safe, mm -hmm. it's not pounding, it's not uh, damaging to the knees, uh, and it's something that anybody can do. I mean, what do you need to walk? You need mm -hmm. a pair of shoes, you know, right. in a safe place. So what about, you know, what the, my problem, just a little confession here, is that mm -hmm. when I was growing up, uh, most of my exercise was related to sports or activities right. where there were other people involved. Right. Um, and then when you certain get to a certain stage in life, sometimes you don't have well, you don't. I'm not saying I don't have friends, but you don't have that. You don't have that same setup, <clears throat> right? Um, and, and and what would you say to someone like, like me or people like, like me? Like you, sure. Um, I think the social dimension to to exercise can be very very important as a motivating factor. If you know that somebody else is, is expecting to meet you at eight in the morning, are you going to get out of bed and go and say yes? You will. Whereas mm -hmm. if you don't have an exercise partner. So a, a good friend, you can, you can you know, have a lot of fun talking to them, and, and I think that's a very important thing. Studies show, actually, if you have an exercise partner, you're more likely to be consistent with, with an exercise. What about a dog? Uh, I was going to mention a dog. <laughs> um, uh, a dog is, is great. I, I think it's also a wonderful thing. And you know what? Dogs need to be walked, so you feel some sort of obligation to make sure that you walk the dog. That's right. Um, just uh, be careful. I, I know I, I used to jog with a dog, and it would like to like to run into me. Of course, that was very dangerous. Yeah, I, I remember working in the ER once, and this lady had a huge um, Great Dane. I remember the, the Great Dane, right. very large. Right. And the, I would just say, make sure you have a short leash. This this dog had a big long leash, and the lady did not see that the dog had started to run. And when she turned around, it already built up steam, and, and actually. You know, she fell over and drug her down the road. <laughs> Who's and, walking who? Exactly. And I mean, it's, it's not funny at all. She was really injured. Yeah, so just be yeah. careful with, with the dogs. But so uh, start it and then stick with it with the social things and with uh, maybe a, a pet. Anything else? Yeah, let, let, me, let me mention about safety. Okay. Um, and that is uh, some people, you know, you live in a neighborhood where maybe you don't feel safe, you know, uh, walking around the neighborhood. Uh, and in that sort of situation, um, if you're walking with a partner, of course, you'll f feel a lot more safe. Uh, but also, there's oftentimes at malls, there's, mm -hmm. you know, walking groups uh, that you can find out uh, about. And if the weather is inclement, if it's raining or something like that, again, malls are a good place to... Pool? Swimming? Swimming pool is a, another good form of exercise. Not so good in terms of building up strong bones, but uh, aerobically, very good. We've been talking to Dr. Doug Plata. We've been talking about exercise. You need to start and stick with it. And we have some very practical ideas how to do that. 
Thank you for joining us on New Start at Home, but get out of your home and exercise <laughs> today. And thank you, doctor, for being with us. We Enjoy. can find more information about this or other subjects at newstartclub.com. That's newstartclub.com. Tell your friends about it. We're glad you joined us today. Thank you.